Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be doing another hair tutorial. Yes, as you all can probably tell, it is part wash and go. Yes, I'm saying part, because it is a half up, half down style. Um, I am going to be doing a wash and go in the back, and I'm gonna be doing these double knots at the top. I wasn't sure what to call this video, but by now you probably all have read the title, so I came up with a name, okay, y'all? Anyway, I'm going in with only two products, and that is going to be Aunt Jackie's, Aunt Jessie's, the Quench Leave-In, okay? I'll leave the I'll leave a link in the description bar down below for each item that I'm using in today's video. But I'm going in with the leave-in and then I'm following up with my wet line extreme gel. Y'all know this is my go-to product, y'all. Like I cannot do a wash and go without using this gel. This gel is bomb. I mean, I remember when Eco style gel used to be my go-to, but I have put it down. And Wetland Extreme has joined the family, y'all. It has joined the family. Anyway, I love this gel mainly because it helps elongate my curls. It gives me great, great, great definition. Um, you all know that with natural hair, shrinkage is real. But I do love the fact that when I use this wet line gel it does elongate my curls and i do not have to do much stretching to the curls to get my length back so how many of us love length when it comes to natural hair i know we do so if y'all interested in the gel that does the things that i just said go and cop this and the price is right you're getting 35 ounces of product for under five bucks you cannot beat that anyway this is very 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 repetitive so I'm not gonna bore you guys much longer. After we are done with the wash and go in the back, we are gonna to move to the top, y'all. Yes, to the top. As you all can see, I have it split down the middle already, kinda of where I want the style to be, but I am going to clean up this part with this red tail comb. Um, it might not be perfect. I'm not a perfect parter, but we're going to get it as perfect as I can get it, okay? And then after I finish cleaning up this part, we are going to go in with the um, quench leave-in conditioner on both sections. the leave-in conditioner on both sections we are going in with the wet line gel I'm going to use this gel around the perimeter of each section and after I put it around the perimeter I'm going in with my detangler brush the detangler brush is going to help me smooth those curls up into this nice sleek ponytail not only am I using my detangler but I am going to go in with my hard bristle brush to help with smoothing it down a little more. And then I'm going in with my little soft scrunchie. Um, I'm wrapping it around a couple of times. I do notice that if you wrap it around too many times, once the hair completely dries, the ponytail becomes tighter and I am tender headed. Y'all, I don't want none of that. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side and that's putting the gel around the perimeter only. And then I'm going in with the detangler brush to help smooth those curls out so that I can form another sleek ponytail. What I do like to do is to make sure that even, I like to touch on 
the sign that I already created to make sure that I'm actually putting this ponytail on that side evenly. Once again, I did go in with my bristle brush, my hard bristle brush afterwards. And yeah, they seem to be pretty even, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie that one up out of the way. After I tie that one um, up out of the way, I am going to form two chunky um, twists um, on the hair. I do not want to leave this hair down. I'm gonna form two twists on each side, and I am going to apply some more of that quench leave in, just so that I'm making sure that these sections are hydrated and moisturized while they are being protected and tucked away. It adds some more of the leave in to the ends. The ends are very important. They are the oldest part of the hair. Um, so I did go back in with a little more of that leave in towards the ends. Um, once that I, once I had the chunky twist in, I realized right here that I was going the wrong way. I do want to form the twist in the same direction so I, so I can make sure that they lay um, evenly and nicely. Um, and once again, more conditioner on the ends. I was running out of this condition. This conditioner is so bomb, y'all. Y'all gotta copy on some. Anyway, now I'm going to go in and wrap that bun around. Yes, wrap it around and tuck it under. I'm doing that on both sides and then I went in with my jumbo rubber bands to make sure it stays secure. To finish it off, I am going to be using my Got To Be Glued hairspray. This is so when I lay the hair down in my scarf at night, it ties all of it in together. It's gonna make it lay down, no flyaways. It's just gonna come out perfect. Also, as you all can tell, I'm going in with my rat tail comb and I'm smoothing those flyaways away. I'm smoothing them down. This is a little trick that I do. I actually take a rat tail, the end of a rat tail comb, and I apply a little gel, or sometimes I don't apply a gel, and I lay those flyaways down. This is perfect for that. So if you have a red tail comb at home and you have flyaways, go ahead and use the end of it. This is a perfect little trick to catch all of those flyaways. Last and final step is to do those baby hairs. Now y'all, I'm not into all that fancy tricks and curls and flips and all of that. I stick with the basics. So yeah, um, nothing too special, but this is the last step, those flyaways. And then we gonna show you guys the finish results. All right guys, so this is the next day. You all see that I actually laid down the top part with a scarf and then I put the bonnet on the back. This is actually how I slept and the hair came out perfect, you guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All I did was touch up my edges and I went about my day. I know my face looking a little hurt. I have not been wearing makeup as of lately. I've only been doing my brows because y'all know um, we doing this quarantine type thing so it's no point of me wearing makeup because it's just gonna get all over the mask anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you do please hit that like button please share please comment please subscribe and put on y'all post notification bells so y'all will know about every time i do an upload and until my next video i'll see you guys later bye